Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make these nice star effects. It's just a nice magical effect you can add to your photos. It's actually somewhat real because if you have long exposure shots far into the sky, you will see these because it's just a natural effect through lenses, especially at low aperture. Let's get right into it. So I'm just going to hide this layer so I can show you guys what it looks like before, after, and I'll just hide it while I make a new one for you guys. So, real quick, you just want to make, you don't have to go too big on the brush, 500, and you want to start pretty low on the first one, just hit that. Then using your bracket keys, make it a little bit smaller, turn up the opacity, make it a bit brighter, same spot, a little bit smaller, a bit brighter. And for the final one, you're going to want to go 100% right in the middle. And if it's not that, awesome. So from here, you're going to want to transform this uh this ball of light smart object and then hit control t and just make it super skinny like this then place it right in the middle press control j to duplicate it and then control t to transform make this one 90 degrees 90 degrees, sorry, I'm super sick right now. <laughs> Throat is hurting very badly. Um, control J again, and you're gonna wanna make this one 45 degrees. And then control J one last time. And make this uh, 90, uh, 135. Um, and then the last two there that are diagonal, make those smaller, and just bring it back in the side. Doesn't really matter if they're measured perfectly, but if you want to be a perfectionist, definitely do. And zoom in to make sure they're all nicely adjusted. All right, that looks decent enough. And you can see that looks pretty nice. As you can see, that looks pretty nice. And starting from the top to bottom, do shift click and make this a new folder call it star first whatever you want to call it and then you can either reposition it or just hit control j a couple times and just start move them moving them wherever you want and adjusting them and i highly suggest to only put them on the brightest stars to make it more realistic because that's actually what happens in some cases. And if you want to get super creative with them and even change the colors of them and you definitely want to change the opacity so they're not so consistent looking fake and actually if you come in contact with some trees like this hit and double click the side with the underlying layer you just take away the light from the blacks like so and that even looks more Realistic now. 
So I hope you guys like this short tutorial. Show you guys one last time what my finished product looks like. Real picture. Made. And it's a little bit different, but you can do whatever you want. And then the final step I would suggest is to group all these folders as well. Call it star first. <laughs> Alright guys, have a great night. Peace.